In this video, we're going to look at these uh, at the questions on the uh, chapter 10, section one slides. Here's the first one. A board is 20 feet long. It needs to be cut so that one piece is two feet longer than the other. What should the, be the length of each piece? So we need to divide this board into two pieces, and we're going to call those pieces lengths X and Y. And based on this, we can set up a couple of different equations. The first equation is pretty simple. It's X plus, and I'm going to switch over to, okay. there we go, that should do the trick. Um, first equation is pretty simple. If X, uh, if um, the board is 20 feet long and we're dividing it into two pieces, that means that X plus Y equals 20. The lengths of, of uh, board X and board Y will be a total of 20 feet. And we want to write this in terms, uh, as a function of Y in terms of X, so that's Y is equal to negative X plus 20. The other comment said that um, one of piece is two feet longer than the other, and let's just say that um, X is the shorter of the two boards. So then Y also equals X plus two. Okay, so with that information, we can graph these two lines and the point where they intersect is going to be a solution, is going to be the solution to our problem. So, um, I'll graph negative X plus 20 first. Uh, and unfortunately, I've kind of uh, drawn myself into a corner here because negative X plus 20 is up here in this upper right corner of this. Um, really, I only need the first quadrant here because all this other stuff, we can't have negative lengths for these boards. So everything has to occur up here in the upper right. Well, to do this, I'm just going to find some points that meet this, the uh, the sum of them is going to be 20. So there's one. It's uh, the point uh, 10, 10. And there we've got 9, 11 and 11, 9 and 8, uh, 12, 8 and 8, 12 and 7, 13. And we've basically got the line we need right here. That's good enough. This is the line y equals negative x plus 20. And then we've got the line y, uh, y equals x plus 2. Well, that's an easy one too. It's going to, here is, you know, if y, uh, if, if x equals 0, y is 2, and if x equals 2, y is 4, and so on and so forth, and scooby dooby dooby. That song may be a bit before your times. Oh, well. But there's that line, too, and this is y equals x plus 2. OK, well, we can clearly see they intersect right here. And that is the point 9, 11. So the solution to this system of equations is board X is 9 feet long and board Y is 11 feet long. All right, let's move on to our other problem. And this other problem is a, an inequality problem. In this problem, we're to asked to shade the portion of the graph that is represented by the following conditions. Y is less than or equal to uh, 3X plus 5, and X plus Y is greater than 7. So we come back over here, and this equation, Y is, stop. Uh, sharing that. Uh, this equation y is less than or equal to 3x plus 5 is pretty easy to work with. Um, it's going to have a y-intercept right there. 
and then it increases by three as it goes up this way and decreases by three as it comes down this way. And we get this line here, which is pretty neat and easy to find. And that should be good. And the other thing we've got is y, uh, x plus y is greater than seven. Note that in this equation, we have a less than or equal, so we use a nice solid line like that. Here we have y, uh, x plus y is greater than seven. I'm gonna rewrite that as y is greater than negative x plus seven. Um, so it's going to have an x-intercept right here, and then at the point uh, zero seven, and then it's gonna be a dashed line coming down this way. And it's dashed because the point is um, because the sorry, I'm distracting myself. It, it's dashed because the line itself is not part of the solution set. So now we want to look at everything that is less than our solid line and greater than our dashed line. And that is everything in this region right here. So we just shave that portion and that's all we have to do. All right, that is it for this set of for this set of slides. Let me know if you have any questions.